So to change your character, press M. The M menu is like the main menu. And uh, go to MP Ped Customization. And there you go. Uh, you could also do regular player appearance if you want to pick default peds, but uh, MP Ped is. So when you press M, you go to player related options. And then you can make a character. Uh, no. Uh, press backspace. So, like, that's the online player list. You press down. Oh, yeah, go back in. Uh, player related is the next one. Yeah, that one. And now that's where you can change all your stuff. So, if you do player appearance, that's going to be like. Uh, you can do like a quick menu here. But there's also MP pad. Uh, use, use the, um, the D pad. You know, up, down, left, right. Uh, not, well, you use the mouse wheel if you want to scroll through the menu, and then left and right click, um, is, is, is back and forward usually. But obviously you can't press left and right, so you just have to use the, uh, the D-pad when you do, um, when you do the menu. And where's the gender menu? I want to play like a goal. Nah, you're good like that. <laughs> Here, go back. Go back, um, go to MP Ped Customization, and there you go. And click the inheritance first, because oh god. <laughs> and this is the same thing from uh, the online creator. Mm -hmm. There's the pretty girl. Whilst stalking behind you. Pick the one that you like the most. It's the same exact options as on the uh, Rockstar editor. But um, you'll have all the clothes options now. Uh, try 40 and 21. I think that's the one I am. You look pretty similar to me before. Yeah, I think that was it before. Because, okay, so, uh, just to let you know, the server does have a three hour reset. So at nine, so in twelve minutes, it is going to have a server reset, so they will disconnect. Uh, when that happens, you have to Alt F4. You have to close 5M and open it again, or else um, textures don't load properly. So uh, just to let you know, that's that's why Alt F4. Because when I saw on your screen to disconnect, I was just I was like muscle memory to just hit Alt F4. Yeah, that's part of the beauty about 5M. So like, let's say you want to go back and play uh, your your regular GTA 5 online, you don't have to do anything. You just you go back in, like, you open it now from, you know, uh, however you used to open it before. That's how you do it. So when you log in, as you've seen, you, you spawn at, like, a random location. So there's two things you can do. Uh, so the duty menu is F11. So you, if you hit F11, that's how you go on duty. You click that. Uh, you can click it. You can hit enter. You can press left or right. Um, that's how you use the menu. Like, just saying all, all those different things work. You could press enter, left, right, or click. Um, then you want to, uh, probably has to load the duty menu should pop up. Uh, first you'll see like everyone logs in on the server on the bottom left. Like usually that's when you know everything's loaded. Did you see that yet? Uh, press M. Why there are lots of invisible dress? It's because um, there's different... Um, so, like, you'll see, like, different clothes will have, like... Your body will clip through the clothes if you don't use the proper upper body. Mm -hmm. So you have to pick one that has invisible body parts sometimes so that your body doesn't go through... Like, you see how my vest is going through the shirt? That's because, like, it's not, you know, properly made for that shirt. So it's the same thing with the body. Sometimes certain body parts don't match with certain clothing. So you have to pick the appropriate one. So which one should I pick? This one? Uh, well, I mean, do you want gloves? Because you're you're all the way up in the 115s. That's for gloves. Oh, okay. Well, you said you wanted to be a police officer, right? Well, what you should do for now is don't don't worry about your clothes. Just worry about your face for now. Yeah, it'll, when you save it again later, it'll update it. You could do it now. You could click default character now. 
what that does is when you load in, it'll automatically click that character for you. And when you die, it'll automatically revive you as that character. Um, just curious, is this going to be like your default civilian character, like off-duty, or is this going to be your first cop-looking character? Okay, so I would say make this just your civilian, I would say make this your off-duty character. Just make it like how you want to look. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? You mean, can you clone your own, or are you asking if, I, if you can copy mine? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is, you can clone them here. This is, that's why I'm saying you should make whatever your default, you know, that you want to spawn in as. Like, if you want that to be your off-duty or something, then, you know, make that. And then just clone your character from there over and over and over and over and over and over. The only time I use EUP is to, like, basically to get an idea of what costumes that they use you know because otherwise you can't save you can save it to the other menu but then you can't make it default and that's what i don't like uh you'll see why later i'll explain it to you in the future styling oh yes you don't have to worry about the shirt because your jacket like your shirt jacket overlay already covers the quote shirt so you can actually just put it on a blank one like, put it on, I think, 14 or 15 should be, like, inside your body. Uh, the shirt and accessory. Yeah, put shirt and accessory, put that to, like, 14 or 15, and it should... There, see how it's disappeared now? Yeah, just leave it on one of those. Yeah, well, see, now you would put a shirt back on, because you don't have obviously an undershirt <laughs> like you wouldn't go out like that in real life right so now that's where you put on a shirt but before your overlay covered it but it you know it all depends on what you're wearing you just have to switch it around and see now your arms are sticking through your jacket so now you have to fix that uh yeah it's enclosed it's enclosed uh upper body yeah oh you never switched it when we came back that's what it is so go all the way to the bottom Hit, hit that left button as fast as you can. <laughs> you gotta get down to like, that's what I said, 15? Okay, so 15 is the one where you can see your nipples and everything. Like, that's the full skin. That's like everything. And then below 15 is like when you start to lose body part. Yeah, keep going down. Keep going down. You'll get them back. Trust me. <laughs> You'll get them back. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, here. So when you get one that looks good, Hit space bar to turn around. Go down to zero. It might be it might be one or zero. All right, go to one. I think it's one. Uh, nope, nope. Hit two. Three. I did see it before. Go in four. I don't know. See your body's missing. Your chest is missing. Go to four. Go to five. There, there. Press space bar. Because you have to make sure it doesn't clip through your back, too. Okay, yeah, that's the one you want now. See? That's basically how you do it. Now save character. There you go. Uh, Yeah, just tap W real quick, just to anti-AFK. Alright, now click clone character. Yeah, hit that. Save characters. Hit your friend, and now clone saved, and now type your friend BCSO or yeah police. Uh, I would type BCSO because police police is for city, um, sheriff is for like county, which is where we're going. So you could type BCSO, sheriff, county, anything like that. I only want you to make the distinction because sometimes we will play in the city, and then then you're gonna have to put like I don't know something else. Okay, so press backspace. And BCSO. And then edit. And uh, now you go to the clothes and change the clothes. I'll show you the one that I had again from before. 
Okay, see how it clips? You see how, how your stomach comes out? Now you have to change your upper body. That's why. That's what I'm talking about. Because now it's the upper body. You have to fix that. So just play around with it. Up, raise it. There you go. See? Already got it. Let me see. Is that on seven? Uh, my upper body's on one. So you might want to just put it on one for now. <laughs> yeah, you can hit enter. Remember, you hit enter and it switches the way they look. Yeah, that's nice. There you go. Those are Blaine County badges. Yeah, hit enter and you can see the different ones. There. The, uh, all the stars, that's Blaine County. That's the one that you want. Here, hit, hit enter on that one. Ad Rev. It stands for Admin Revive. So it's slash A-D-R-E-V. And when you type that, you'll revive yourself. And if you type a number, like... Oh, you don't have nameplates on, right? So you don't see my name, right? No. D and then what? Slash ad rev. So now press M, right? Go to miscellaneous settings. Mm -hmm. Now go down to keybind settings. It's option A. Keybind, okay. Turn. Click uh, teleport to waypoint and click finger point controls. Okay. All right, uh, go back one. And now scroll down, uh, turn on death notifications. Um, if you want, turn on join quit notifications and turn on show player names. Oh, and click on, no, uh, go out, one, go back one. It's in miscellaneous. Yeah, so scroll down. Uh, turn on show miles per hour or kilometers per hour, whichever you prefer. Um, I'm on location blade show player name. Okay, that's what you said. Yep. Uh, turn on, if you want, the uh, join quit notifications, death notifications. Uh, turn on restore player appearance. Restore player weapons and respawn as default MP ped. Okay, and now go all the way to the bottom and hit save personal settings. Yeah, click all three of those. Uh, restore, default, ped MP, player appearance, and player weapons. Everything is checked actually. Okay, and then click uh, save personal settings. I did. So you don't have to do that every time when you log in. All right, so now press F11. Uh, I'm sorry, hold on, I'm talking in. Can you hear us in game, by the way, your friend? No. Nope. Oh, probably not. Okay, so press M, right? Go to voice settings and turn on the voice chat. Uh, leave that on, like, 10. Oh, you want to save your settings after doing that again, by the way. Yeah, sure. Uh, what you want to do is go to your in-game settings. Okay, sorry about that. So you want to go to your in-game mic settings, uh, the voice settings at the bottom. Uh, make sure that all that stuff is good, and put the sensitivity at maximum. Okay, so to, t to talk in-game... Yeah, put the, put the sensitivity at maximum, because uh, for some reason on the server it has a little bit of trouble, so you want to put the sensitivity at max. Alright, so if you can hear me. You want to go to uh, settings and then voice chat. That's where you're at, right? Are you in? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So press escape, right? You want sound effects. Vo okay, so that's like if you have that at zero, that means you're not going to hear gunshots while people are talking. So I would leave that at maximum. Okay. And uh, music? I don't need music, right? I would just leave that on too, because it's kind of, I mean, there's no music. The only music that, that that's going to lower is like if someone has a radio on, like in their car, then it'll lower that, but that's a little unrealistic, so. I mean, that's up to you. Okay, and how do I save it? Is it already saved? Uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's automatic because that's, that's in-game setting. Uh, I 
don't know if you rebinded it, then sure. <laughs> well, we'll test it out in a sec. Tell me when you get out of the menu. Uh, it should be in online key binds at the GTA bottom. Online? Yeah, GTA Online, push to talk, yeah. It's N by default. Okay, that's good. Uh, so you're all set there. Um, now there's only one other thing you need to do. Oh, yeah, nice. So wait, at, at the top corner, it says Toko VOIP Normal, right? In-game. When you're in-game, at the top left, it should say Toko VOIP. It says Normal, right? Yep. Okay, so it's working. Okay. So you can hear me, right? Yes. Yeah, see, this is the in-game chat. Um, and now the other thing is type slash radio. Okay, now if you put two and click set, and come back. that's going to put you into the uh, the radio channel for Blaine County. Uh, one is LSPD. So here, switch it to LSPD and you'll see people are probably talking on it. So click slash radio again. Okay, so click the actual radio, like the physical radio down there. Yeah. It says 1 to 100, click on that. There, now click 1. User left your channel. And now click set. You could type the number 2, because that's like up, if you go to channel point, 69, yeah. that's going to take forever. Alright, so click uh, escape. Sorry, you're on office. So just close that. Escape. User in your channel oh yeah, is hit escape. From the server. And now you see at the top left, it says LSPD radio. Yep. So now you'll be able to hear everyone that's speaking on the radio. And if you want to speak uh, on the radio, you hold the cap lock. So just tap it for a second and you'll see. There you go. That, that's how you talk on the radio. So uh, if you want to do a mic check, you would say uh, you would say your call. So like for me, you see my call sign is 9K19. So I would say like this. 9K19 mic check. Loud and clear. Okay, how? what's my name? I don't see my own name. So, um, this is the public server. We have two servers. Uh, this is the public one, so you can make up any number you want. Um, I have 9K because I'm a K9 unit. Um, and then the number is just made up, so you could do whatever you want. It's a number, a letter, and then two numbers. <laughs> well, U is used for union, so that means that you're with another cop. So you wouldn't use that by yourself. Um, but also, like, you see how it's, you have to put it in your Steam name. So w next time when you leave 5M, you would put it in front of your Steam name. You put, like, you know, whatever your call sign you want it to be. Here, I'll make one up for you. <laughs> one a 19 mic check. 10-2. 10-2 means loud and clear. Okay, so I hate to do this to you, your friend, but the area of patrol got changed, so we're no longer at Blaine County, we're actually in the city. Um, so you gotta make a city outfit now. Oh my god, can I kill you now? Can you kill me? Yep. <laughs> you can try. Go ahead, shoot me in the head. See what happens. <laughs> Oh yeah, so that's the other thing. We haven't even gotten weapons for you yet. So uh, press M, go to player related, and then go to weapon options. Okay, now uh, go down to handgun. Uh, oh wait, before we do this, uh, just hit backspace to go all the way out, all the way out. I forgot, we gotta do something else first. Alright, press F11. And, uh, well, first go on duty, so hit enter. User left your channel. Alright, go down to get loadout and hit enter on get loadout one. Okay, uh, you might as well refill your health and armor too, just to get some body armor on. Uh, wait, no, go back to F11. You see at the bottom, refill health and armor, so just hit that. There you go. Okay, now go and, uh... Do so many ten eight. All right, check, uh, press six. Well, get, get out of this menu. So press six. Yeah, okay, press six again. I want to make sure you have the... Okay, so you have the taser. All right, um...
Uh, okay, so press M. Go to yeah. Go ahead, shoot me, shoot me. Go ahead, do it, do it. See what happens. No, seriously, shoot me. Shoot me right in the head. Boom. <laughs> I'm an admin. I have God mode on. All right, so um, go back to weapons options, right? So M, now get out of this. M player options, one up. Weapon options, submachine guns. Go to submachine guns. It's below. Yep, go to that one. Submachine gun. Sub slash light machine gun. And now go down to the bottom. SMG. And just remove that because for some reason they I don't know why it was in loadout one. It shouldn't be in loadout one. Alright, so hit enter. It says remove. Alright, yeah. Alright, so press press backspace. And one more time. Uh one more time. And go to loadout. And save the loadout. You can name it whatever you want. This is like your default police officer uh, outfit. Because basically you want to have a taser and a pistol. That's in your default outfit now. Uh, so go to manage outfits. And put that as your default. Hit enter once. And then put it as your default outfit. Delta 51, I'll be 10, 7, 10, 4, go. go and save. Alright. Now you got guns. Um, now you just got to change to a LSPD outfit. And then click that one time. And then do clone. Clone save character. And now you can name that like police or LSPD. LSP, do LSPD because it's Los Santos Police Department. And now hit hit uh, backspace because you're in BTSO, and there you go. Select that one and hit edit. Yep, there you go. Default and edit. And now, really, you just need to change your shirt, your jacket, and your badge. That's really it. Because yellow is more for county color, so I would just hit enter, make it white, and then your jacket you can change. And that's basically it. You don't really have to change. You don't even have to change your shoes if you don't want to.